Hi everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit about this idea of feeling like you need permission to make feature films, or even short films for that matter. I've been thinking about this on and off for like the past year now, almost, uh, or since you know I returned to making feature films myself last spring and uh, kind of jumped back into it. And, you know, I was trying to think about why was it that I put it off for so long? You know, what was, what did I feel like was stopping me? Of course, there was nothing really stopping me. But what did I, what did I feel was stopping me? What did I think was the reason that I couldn't dive back into it after, uh, you know, basically a hiatus of 18 years? And even though I'd been making so many short films in that time, getting a lot of experience with filmmaking, um, you know, having a lot of, making a lot of different types of films. And um, I still felt this kind of like a, a block somehow. It was like a, like a mental block that I, that I couldn't see uh, making that leap from shorts to features. Now, I will say this. I don't think it's necessarily, I'm not saying that you, you should feel like you have to make feature films, of course, even if you're, if you're happy making shorts, that's perfectly fine. But I knew that I wanted to do more with filmmaking, to be able to make films that were, uh, to, to expand on, you know, things that I was doing in a short film format. And I knew that making features was something that I wanted to eventually get back around to. But, like I said, I felt there was this kind of, there, there was some sort of uh, barrier, you know, kind of a, like, a, like a mental barrier keeping me from taking the plunge. And I don't really know what I was waiting for. I don't know what I thought was going to happen or what it was going to look like, you know, when, that bar when, I, when I would kind of get past that barrier. Uh, I don't know what that kind of, what I thought that permission was going to look like. Um, but it's very, it's very real, you know, when you feel that kind of uh, block, it is very real. And what's most striking to me is when you finally do get past it, you wonder how did I ever let it hold me back in the first place? Uh, I mean, now at this point, it's, hard, it's very hard for me to imagine thinking that way. But just a year ago, I, you know, I was. And one of the one of the things I just want to mention in relation to this is that this is why I think it is so um, important if you're if you're out there you know making films and putting your films out there to never underestimate how what you're doing might inspire somebody because all it might take is for somebody who is in the kind of uh, in this kind of situation where they're waiting for this permission you know whatever whatever that might look like to them. But then if they see it can be done, uh, that might be all they need to get over that hurdle, to get, to get over that block. I think this is true in a lot of the you know, creative uh, areas. I don't think it's necessarily unique to film, although film does have such a, you know, realistically there, there is a lot involved in making a film uh, with, you know, things like equipment and resources and all of that I think can add to this feeling. So perhaps film is a little unique in that respect, but, uh, but, but I think the point still stands that if you are kind of hung up on this mental barrier of not uh, thinking that there's something you can't do and that you just need permission to do it, uh, simply seeing that it can be done is, I think, one of the best ways to get around that and to get over it. But this idea of, you know, waiting for um, permission to make a feature you know, I don't mean it literally. It's not like I thought somebody was there was uh, somebody was going to come along and, and tell me, okay, you know, you've made X number of short films, now you're ready to make a feature. But I think it has more to do with um, that you, you get into a comfort zone. You get into a comfort zone where you can make, you know, in my case, short films, and I could make, I was making several a year, you know, it wasn't, there was no... Um, Nothing holding me back from that.
But I think what had happened was that it was uh, partly, uh, like I said, I was in a kind of a comfort zone, like a creative comfort zone where I, I knew what I could do with what I had. I knew I could do short films. I knew I could do films of a certain scale. And then it became a matter of, eventually of figuring out how I can do feature films with, those, with the same level of resources. And sometimes that you just need something to kind of kickstart the, the imagination to see that it's, that it's possible, you know, that it, that it can be done. And I think once you, once you have that, you know, that little wake up call, um, suddenly a lot more seems, uh, a lot more seems possible. So maybe that's it. Maybe part of it is just kind of pushing yourself outside of your of your comfort zone, getting outside of what you feel uh, like you can safely do, and uh, you know, with what you have. But I don't know. I, th I just think it's it's fascinating to me how this idea can uh, once it really kind of gets in your head, it can really keep you from seeing the potential um, and and the opportunities that are there. For, kind of waiting to be taken um, to, to start doing whatever it is you want. And really, I think that's what it comes down to. It comes down to doing what you want and not worrying about what anybody else says or not worrying about what anybody else thinks is possible or what anybody else thinks you should be doing, you know, at the, at the level of, um, you know, the level that you're working at or whatever. I just, uh, you know, once again, I'm, I'm always struck by how these kinds of little blocks and barriers can become so strong when they're really just, uh, they're really just, you know, in, in our minds, there's really nothing stopping you from making the film that you want to make, you know? And, uh, you know, like I said, there's nothing wrong, of course, if you, if you just want to make short films or whatever, I mean, there's nothing, uh, wrong with that at all. So this, you know, this isn't meant to be a, you know, this isn't meant to sound like, you know, you should be making feature films, but if you want to, then there's no reason why you shouldn't. And that's how I would, that's how I would look at it. Of course, yeah, it's one of the great things about DIY filmmaking and everything that's uh, possible now is that uh, there really isn't anything stopping you from uh, trying out the uh, whatever whatever type of film you want to make. And then, of course, it always comes down to being willing to risk failure, you know, being willing to take that risk and uh, to put yourself out there and, you know, you don't know what the results uh, are going to be like, but you, you take that chance. And if it works, if it succeeds, then, you know, that's, uh, that's uh, all the better. But, like I said, um, you know, if you're out there making films, especially if you're making uh, feature films and, and, you know, putting them out there on your own, uh, never underestimate how much your work might inspire somebody because it might be just the uh, example that they need to get past their own um, mental blocks, you know, and thinking about what, what, what is or isn't possible. And uh, I, th I think that is one of the great things about the ability to share you know your films with a worldwide audience online is that it can mean a lot to somebody who's going to be able to find it and who might not otherwise have uh, ever been able to see what you're doing anyway that's uh just a few thoughts on this topic like i said i've been kind of going going over this myself lately and, and especially in the last you know several months or whatever, just thinking about how strong these, these kinds of um, doubts can be. And it's not necessarily even a self-doubt as much as it is just, I think, internalizing the ideas of what it takes to make a quote-unquote real film. And I think once you can kind of get that idea of a real film you know, out of your head and realize that every approach is just as valid and that it's really only by putting yourself out there and taking that risk that you're going to create something meaningful and personal and that's you know probably the uh, 
in many ways the greatest thing of all, you know, if you can create something like that. So, you know, it's just another, uh, another reason to get out there and make your movie. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope these thoughts will be of some, maybe of some help to other filmmakers who are, you know, kind of in a, in a, in a similar position of, uh, questioning and, you know, wondering what, uh, what they can do. You know, if, uh, I'd be curious to hear, you know, if you're a filmmaker who is kind of experiencing that same thing or who maybe, you know, has recently, um, been able to move beyond those, those kinds of barriers for whatever reason, I'd be curious to kind of hear your, your, uh, experiences with that in the, in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will talk to you later.